platform. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to use the BAD AI for research um, purposes. Now, BAD, the Google BAD may be an experimental model thus far, but it could be applied for a wide range of purposes in research writing and several research components. In this video, I will show you at least four um, applications of the Google BAD in research um, writing. Let's begin. How do I access the Google BAD AI? Just simply go to your search bar, preferably um, Chrome and you search www.bad.google.com and if you're um, sign on on your uh, Google or your, your Gmail account it will take you to the new bad bad.google.com gets you there now another way you could access it is simply go to your search bar simply go to your Google search bar and when it opens just search for bad Google AI and it would take you to the net and the first one is the experimental model now before now um, users were asked to sign up to a wait list but i think that has been removed now so once you are logged on to your google account and you search for it it will take you to the prompt space and this is a prompt space it accepts two kind of prompt it could, you could prompt it via um the audio or you could type in your prompt so let's see use cases of using the, the google bad ai for research um, purposes first it could be used to um write an outline you could brainstorm with it you could write research papers with it you could clarify concepts with it you could summarize um research um, literature with it and that's the first example i want to use i have um, I want to use it for, to summarize a paper. I've gone on the net and the link to a particular article I have collected. Now I bring it to Google, the, the AI model and I say summarize the main point of this article and I hit on go. And this model would look into that paper whose link I've just shared and summarize the um, main point on this uh, on that paper for me just by sharing the link to that paper here you go it has just done all of that it has looked into that paper and shared the main discourse on that paper that's one way you could use the google bad ai so let's give another example i want to um write a research paper on the uh, turbulent flow turbulent flow of the blood around the around the veins around the veins of, of Around the veins of the heart or the veins of the muscles, the muscles when when expanded, give me an outline. Give me an outline. I could correct that veins and uh, muscles made of this paper and there you go our friend would 
give us a good outline for the paper. There you go, it says I should begin with introduction where I would define um, turbulent flow and explain how it differs from laminar flow. Uh, should have a review, I should have methods, I should have um, results, discussion, and conclusion. Now, I'm going to ask again if this was an article for publication. How publication? How would the outline look? Again, it's going to go there and give me a review of the outline of how that should look. There you go, it says I should begin with the title. He has suggested a title for me giving me abstract, giving me keywords, and again, I have introduction, I have methods, I have result, discussion, conclusion, and references. It, 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 it's giving, it's going to give me other words, another instruction to make my paper very unique. And that is a beautiful part of uh, using this AI model. Let's also go ahead to see where um, it's it's used for literature review so again um i want to use it for this let me copy that last prompt and i want to use it for literature review for this time um give me the titles of similar articles and the summary of what they said using it for literature review so this beautiful ai is going to go out there and these are papers that have done something similar to that topic Turbulent flows in the veins during exercise. Um, the effect of turbulent flow on blood coagulation in veins. The turbulent flow in veins implication for diagnosis and treatment of vascular diseases. And these are similar papers. And I could even ask for the link of these papers if it has not provided. I could say, give me the, give me the link to the papers or uh, articles papers you mentioned mentioned above there you'd go it should give me the links it's okay this is also my capability fine now the other beautiful thing about this is whatsoever it has uh, mentioned to you you could copy it you could also either copy it export it as a word document or as a gmail or you could go to the three dots by it and copy it to wherever you want to um, edit it for further uses now let's see one last example or one last thing this model could be used for as a component for research um, writing as a beautiful ai that could help you with research writing now it could actually write for you give you a sample write-up of uh, this work to give you a sample write up and you go ahead to check it for correctness and edit for your uh, purposes now let's go there again that same prompt i copy the prompt and um, um write me a sample of this peep of this article Based, based on the article outline you provided, outline you provided above. There you go. It's going to create for me a sample of how that um, research paper should look at, that should look like. It begins from again the title this is the abstract these are keywords these are 
of the introduction, the uh, uh, methods, and the references. A beautiful outline. Just in, in seconds, I have an outline written uh, a sample of what I should discuss on that particular paper. I could ask it, um, give me literature, um, literature review, give me literature review, and knowledge gap, if there is knowledge gap. So, wait for it, minute again, it would get me um, in-depth literature review. mentioned knowledge gap and future research it's just for me to pick up this and uh, get to the net and into Google Scholar or any other database for research work and look this up and begin to put in some parts for myself to make it a beautiful research work now one last thing you could use this for is for data analysis it could generate research data if you feed it research data it could help you uh, analyze the data and tell you um, possible data analysis um, concepts you should use for that data so let me just i don't have a data present let me just ask to give me possible data uh, give me a sample data on um, sales for winter there you go it's gonna get me a sample data for sales for winter and it gives me a table just as beautiful as that i could actually to give me um this data in a particular set of um, number points now, he has given me a data. I want to ask it something more. Let's say, um, can you help? Can you help me analyze this uh, this data? I'm waiting for it. Sure, I can help you analyze this data, the most products sold, and I could ask it what um, visualization, what visualization will be suitable, suitable for this data. What visualization will be suitable for this data? And it's going to explain all of that for me. Set a bar chart, a pie chart, a line graph a heat map and these are four salient ways you could use the bad the bad google ai for research purposes there are more you could use it for but i've just shared this four with you and go and start learning how to use it go and start learning how to prompt it it is a very beautiful ai for research purposes don't forget to follow me on this um, on YouTube and LinkedIn for daily tips on how to deploy AI for research purposes.